welcome back to my channel plant based storm i just want to do a quick video today of putting together a summer salad called cowboy caviar and you're going to start with three quarters of a red onion one can 15 ounces of black eyed peas now i did these did not need to be drained so i didn't do that but you're also going to need a 15 ounce can of black beans and i've already rinsed and drained these um, just so that it doesn't have all that extra liquid in there and I did the same thing with the diced tomatoes you can also use fresh tomatoes but um, I was trying to make this simple and easy uh, this is something I'm gonna take me to work in the morning and then I'm gonna end up adding in a cup and a half of frozen corn uh, I don't add the extra half cup right away because I forgot so you'll see me add it in a little bit after I'm cutting up some peppers so just add in the one cup right there and then you're supposed to use one bell pepper. You can use any color you want, but I'm just using what I have out of the garden and a jalapeno. So I'm gonna cut those all up together and throw it in there. And then I realized, oh yeah, I forgot to add that half cup of corn. So I add that into it as well. And just go ahead and chop those peppers up nicely and get them in there. One teaspoon of date syrup to add in a little bit of sweetness. I used three key limes. You can use whatever you have on hand. This is what I had. Um, but you want to use about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of lime juice. Get it squeezed in there. You can use more if you like the flavor a whole lot. And then I'm going to use in about a tablespoon of garlic powder, um, black pepper to taste, and about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then you just mix it all up and it makes such a beautiful and fresh salad something that is really nice for summertime you can eat these on tostadas which is what i plan to do and you can always put in an avocado i'm planning to leave mine out because i'm going to avoid some of the extra fat and i'm just going to eat this as is i'm going to pair it with some frozen cauliflower that i will heat up in the microwave at work i hope this is helpful and as always, thank you so much for watching.